Assalamualaikum and a very good day to you all In this video, I would like to um, share with you about optimization problem Okay, when we um, when we want to produce uh, some product and we want to sell them Okay, it is important and it is imperative for us Okay, to, to have more control of what we are doing Okay, so provided that we can uh, come up with the revenue function, cost function and profit function of our product that we are producing. Okay, so we can, uh, we, we, be, we are be able to know how much that we have to produce to achieve certain goals that we have set for our company. Okay, for example, if you're going to uh, if we are be able to uh, come up with the revenue function of our product, then of course, okay, we want to maximize our revenue, okay, for sure. But um, it's a, it's a simple logic; it's a no-brainer, lah. Okay, we want uh, more money, right? Because we believe more money, then more uh, more revenue, more profit, lah. Okay, how about cost? Okay, we want to make more money. Okay, so we have to minimize our cost. Okay, we don't want our cost to be more than our revenue. Otherwise, our profit will be negative. Because as we all know, profit function is defined by revenue minus cost. Okay, so if the cost is more than this revenue, okay, if cost more than revenue, then our profit is less than zero lah okay it's a negative lah okay that's why we, we if we want to optimize our problem if we, if we want to optimize our situation when we are producing something clearly we have to maximize our revenue and then we want to minimize our cost and if we dealing with profit for sure we want to maximize our profit okay so uh, let's uh, let's see the steps uh, to solve optimization problem. Okay. Now, first thing first, we find the first derivative of the function. Okay. Uh, the function it from the this from this slide it means that whatever function that we are dealing. Okay. It's it's either revenue. Okay. It doesn't matter which one, but maybe it's either revenue, cost, or profit. Okay. And then next, we find the critical number. Okay. The, the, the quantity and the price involved. Okay. And then we find the secondary derivative of the function. Why we have to find the secondary derivative? Because we have to find the... Um, we have to verify what kind of extremum that we get from the critical Number over here. And last but not least, we substitute the correct number into the function if we want to know the amount of the uh, revenue or cost or profit that we have interest in. Okay. So, maybe we... This is not that one. Uh, I think that's fine. Maybe we can do the example in another video. Thank you for your time and attention. Assalamualaikum. Have a good day.